Hello, y'all. Welcome back to Women Loving Jesus, and today we are with Proverbs 115. My son, walk not in the way with them. Refrain your foot from their path. Now, this is going back to Proverbs 114, 113, again, talking about the wicked and talking about their plans against the innocent. And this is telling you to not walk with them. So basically, avoid their courses, avoid their conversation, and avoid their company. You are not to spend your time with them as much. This is a warning that once you know they have planned evil, and they've planned evil against innocent people, and they're trying to bring others into their sin, we are not to walk with them. We are to avoid them. And this is kind of goes along with Proverbs 110. Do not give in to the evil men. Do not give in to them. Do not be around them. Do not spend much time with them. This is application. I think after you have seen uh, fruits of men that show that their father is of Satan, which means they lie, they manipulate, they come against the innocent, they have anger, they speak falsely of others, then we are then called to watch how much time we spend with them and not to follow their path. Ultimately, at the end, when we face Jesus, we have to account for the time we spent and what we did. And I think with that, we are the ones who have to account for it. We cannot say that others told us to do it, no matter who they are, even if they're a spouse or a parent. Ultimately, that decision calls them for us. And with that responsibility, I think that is why we have to read the word of God and we have to pray because we have to have godly wisdom. And as I said about Proverbs at the beginning, this is the whole book is about wisdom and godly wisdom. So even though it may be difficult at times, we are called to not be in the company of evildoers. And with that, we may suffer for a short amount of time, but God will bless us in other ways. And I know this for a fact. Um, even if he blesses you with a peace beyond understanding and be able to have joy beyond understanding. So I hope that the Holy Spirit with the word of God has been able to help you today. I appreciate you being able to listen, and I appreciate um, your comments, and I appreciate that you tune in for next time. Have a blessed day.